Bluebeard burned everything. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. It's not your fault, Puffkin. I should have come here first. Didn't think Bluebeard would mess things up this badly. Something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten- I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But... Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Why don't you take the night off? That's nice of you. But I, I can't. I still have to clean their office. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh... Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's official Fable Town business. Don't worry. Right. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition, further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? So that's why they were at her apartment, and the woodsman's place. Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. This is worse than I thought. Shit. Find anything? 
Not what I need. Now, I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh yeah, all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. You know about this? Uh, no. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. Th they're detectives, like I said. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. What if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. Let's get one thing straight. They are nothing like me. Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to- Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They shot at Snow White. Bigby, what happened to your- You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I- I, I, I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? <sighs> uh, I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Wow. Butcher? What is this stuff? What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane, or the witch he was using, something. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll 
I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. J.D. A book. This doesn't really tell us much. Hey, Big B. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the Woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... W we found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Auntie Greenleaf? A.G. This is it. Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. <laughs> 